All right, we're out trying to pick up stuff for the party. We are having weekend. a Trisha Paytas party, meaning we're having a party on Saturday and asking people to dress up as their favorite iteration of Trisha Paytas. And we're doing the Trisha and Jeffrey years, Jeffrey Star. So he's dressing up like Jeffrey Star. Jeffrey's dressing up as Jeffrey. Yeah, Je <laughs> Jeffrey is dressing up as Jeffrey. We'll be coming out with our makeup palette soon. Equally Watch fabulous. For it. We're trying to find the nails, the long nails. Mm -hmm. We went to Walmart. I was like, surely they're going to have these nails at Walmart. Mm -mm. They don't. So we're going over Sally's Beauty Supply. Ah, it's Laura. 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 <laughs> Hello. We're recording in here. We're recording. Of course we are. Yeah. <laughs> this is Laura. She's leaving us. She's moving away. I am running away <laughs> to the liberal paradise that is Michigan. Oh my gosh. Uh, reproductive health access, LGBTQIA protections encoded in the state civil rights bill, unions, recreational okay. and medicinal weed. Oh, maybe I need to go to Michigan. It's so cold. I do, we have a house with a fireplace. Now, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. It's gonna be better. Yeah. You're like I mean, a, an iconic Fayettevillian. Yeah. You're like a fixture here. Thing. Like, what is, Your thing. What is Fayetteville <laughs> gonna be without you? Um, probably a little quieter. Yeah. Laura, <laughs> Laura Ellis. Laura Ellis, exactly. Now, I mean, like I said, I'll be back and forth, but it's it's time for a fresh start. So. I know it is. I, I think you've probably been feeling that for a while. Mm -hmm. It's a long story. Yeah. I like the purple. Oh, thank you. So thank you. Did you vote? Yes. Yeah. I have to go vote. <gasps> oh, crap. Go, go vote. Go vote. Yeah. Right. Civic duty. I know. They've already voted. I love you. Let me know if I get on TikTok. I'm gonna put, we're we're going to put you on TikTok. Somewhere. Yes. Okay. Love you guys. I love, love you. you. Had to have a, st a quick stop and chat. <laughs> there are so many people who are fleeing the state of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Like Laura's moving to Michigan. My friend Jeannie is moving to Minnesota. People are fleeing, fleeing, and I don't blame them. Well, when you don't, when you're losing your your personal expression and personal liberty, mm -hmm. it's just hard to say, oh, this is worth it for me. It's certainly not LGBTQ. Friendly. friendly it just seems like a really big dog whistle to just get people like angry about something and, and not even the thing that they should be angry yeah. about yeah which is like not taxing the the super rich and not uh, taking away you know worried about gun rights and stuff that's what you should be worried about but instead worry about those drag queens Oh yeah, because they're corrupting everything. Queers, yeah. Drag queens are indoctrinating your children. They're gonna get your kids. Like, never mind the bullets that you know you guys all want to have. If we can't take away the guns, can we take away the nasty attitude that the children have towards each other? And that is the spillover from the nasty attitudes that we as people have towards each other. I feel like if we could teach our kids how to be nice humans, then they wouldn't have situations where a kid feels so beaten down that the only solution is to kill everybody. I know. I was beaten down. I was one of those kids who suffered at the hands of other children and at the ha hands of parents. Mm -hmm. Like I, when I made cheer in eighth grade, it was like the world had come to an end. The parents all gathered together in the principal's office because the wrong person had made the cheer squad. And it is very hard to be a 13 year old child and have parents against you simply because you're the wrong one. You're the wrong person. And my mother would say, well, it's something you're doing. You're alienating these kids. They wouldn't treat you like this. You did something to upset these parents or they wouldn't treat you like this. And it was this whole culture against Amy where it was like, if you weren't such a weirdo, we wouldn't treat you this way. Mm -hmm. The whole thing with bullying is that people come after other people because something about 
I was just use me as an example. Something about me was making other people uncomfortable. And they were like, if you just would stop being so weird, we wouldn't treat you this way. So their goal in bullying is doing me a favor because if I would just act like them, they would bullied. leave me alone. So therefore, the whole onus was placed on me because for some reason I was a weirdo and really the only thing that was weird about me is that I had not started puberty. When you're 13 and everyone is against you, you've got no ally, you've got no one. To, to realize... It's hard to stop being the way you are, especially when you don't know how you're being. Yeah, you don't know. Like, I didn't know how I was being, I was just being. I was trying so hard to fit in. I've like had the right clothes. I wore the right things. It didn't matter what I did. If I wore the right things to school, then I wore them in the wrong way or I walked funny or I talked funny or I just did not fit in. And the more I tried to fit in, the just the worse it got. It got worse. And I would like, it was so bad. I tried so hard to maneuver around that. Like I became a bully in, in some very small social circles because I was like, okay, well, maybe they want me to do this to other people. If I do this to other people, then maybe I'll be accepted. But I wasn't. If you're being bullied, especially about being gay or being anything outside the binary norm of what they expect, then you have no one that you can turn to, especially in like certain states. You can't even talk about that. No, you're not even allowed to talk to your teachers about it. That was me as a teacher. I would like really hear my kids and stand up for them and whatever they believed in, I would get behind that. I'm like, well, that's what we're doing right now. That's what we believe today because this student believes that and I stand with this student. When I was a full-time teacher of the principal, I was in the principal's office daily, and he would say to me, you know, you're taking the side of the wrong kids. Like, what is it? Who's the wrong kid? Like, who's the wrong kid? The, this kid? This kid that no one understands? This kid who's just desperate to find someone to love them? I don't know what we can do about the bullying situation, but we've got to do something in this country because we're each other. Mm -hmm. And it's not being fixed either on the on social media platforms, the bullying. I just don't feel like it's being resolved at all. No, I have a friend, a grown woman, a trans woman friend, grown woman, and the trolls found her. And the stuff they were telling her online this best of the whole crowd of people telling her to kill herself all right going to do my civic duty we're having a special election it's for our school board Thank you. pretty important yeah okay okay so i'll show you what we got at the salon sound this is a shame. Okay. We got these. We love the manager at Sally's. We love her. She went to school, okay, kindergarten with Emily, I think. And uh, she's fantastic. So she recommended uh, to get these. And they're long, but they're not super long. Bam. He voted! I was the only person in there. Yeah, if you, you know, keep up with your community and find out if you have, like, special elections going on. They happen all the time. Please go and vote like we as a people depend on it. I hear a lot of young people go, I'm not going to vote. It won't do any good. But you know what? I live in this community and I know this community and I see the difference that I make in this community. Mm -hmm. And that's by clicking the little lever on the machine. Yep. It's not a lever anymore. It's just... It's the stylus. It's the stylus. So, this is the, the size bag that we got for the this little package. Me up. I really have to say I'm disappointed with the way that people buying properties, older homes, which are perfectly good homes, and just flattening them. Tearing them down. So that they can put up apartments. Or, Gas gentrification. 
or bigger townhouses that have more value. It's, it oh my God, they really just built some me. townhouses over here and they're renting them for 2800 a month. Isn't that 2800 $2,800 a month. Raise your hand if you can afford 2800 a month for your rent. Not me. Not me. If you can, can I come live with you? Yeah, well, we're moving in. We got a nail here. It's cracking me up. <sighs> Oh, yeah, it fell off because I had gone to the tanning salon. Look at, okay, it's time to clean my car because here I am. Oh, look, I do my nails in the car. So kind of sticky. Still works. Put it under the thing and see if it reattaches. See if it'll re gel it. on there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at that one fancy nail that I got off my floorboard. <laughs> All right, that's all for today. Me and my fancy nail. Biddy ba do. Don't forget to like and subscribe.